We've been telling our customers for the past two years that the outstanding property market in Australia is regional Victoria. And multiple data sources continue to support the view that anyone seeking affordable property, good rental yields, and in particular, great capital growth, would be wise to consider regional Victoria. This week we've published the new 2020 edition of Top 5 Regional Victoria. And if everyone interested in property investment had all the latest data on price performance and economic growth, then this would be our best selling report. There's no other market jurisdiction in Australia that has delivered so many locations with double digit growth in their prices in the last 12 months. And it's also national leader on strong long term growth rates. The regional areas of Victoria also prominent in the latest pain and gain report from CoreLogic, which highlights uh, properties which have sold at a profit in the September quarter of last year. So why is regional Victoria doing so well? Well, it's partly it's because Victoria is the number one economy in the nation, according to the Comsec State of the States report, which was published this week. Victoria is still number one. And partly it's because Victoria continues to be the number one state for population growth both from overseas and interstate migration. Victoria's ranking uh, for population growth and economy isn't just about Melbourne. The regions of Victoria have also been major contributors. Recent data on unemployment showed that regional Victoria leads the state's jobs growth and has the lowest unemployment rate. 20,000 people found work in regional Victoria in the last quarter of last year, and its jobless rate is 3.7%, the lowest of the nation, well below the average regional rate, which is 5.1%. Um, its unemployment rate has dropped almost three percentage points in the last couple of years. And that's translating into exceptional performance in real estate. CoreLogic's quarterly pain and gain report, which compares the prices that properties have sold recently with their previous sale, found that Hobart leads 98% of houses made a profit, but close behind, very close behind, in fact, in second place is regional Victoria, 97% of houses sold sold at a profit. And that's well ahead of what Melbourne achieved, Sydney, and the national average of 90%. In terms of apartment, regional Victoria ranks number third in the nation, well ahead of the national average, well ahead of Sydney and Melbourne. So this outperformance of regional Victoria also shows up in the latest uh, price data. Dozens of regional Victorian uh, locations have recorded double digit growth in their median house prices. In the last 12 months, Ballarat's been particularly outstanding. Numerous uh, suburbs of Ballarat have had double digit growth and some have grown by more than 20%. The city of Greater Geelong has produced multiple growth leaders, including Barwon Heads and Bell Park, which are both up 12%, and Drysdale, which is up 20%. Uh, lots of other growth, uh, outstanding growth locations are spread right across the state, Dalesford, Mount, Mansfield, um, Mildura. This kind of growth isn't a one-off event. Regional Victorian locations have outstanding long-term growth rates. Many of them have averaged better than 7% per year over 10 years. The city of Greater Geelong, again, Ballarat, Macedon Rangers, they all have multiple locations where the growth rates have averaged between 7 and 9% a year. Lake Windiri in Ballarat, for example, 9% a year. Some of the suburbs of Geelong have averaged 8.7, 8.8% a year. And again, we have other locations such as Dalesford, Kynaton, Hearn Hill, which is a suburb of Geelong. They've all had uh, outstanding long-term growth rates. And it's a classic example, regional Victoria is a classic example of what we call the win-win-win situation. Cheaper prices, higher rental yields, great potential for sustained capital growth if you buy in the right places. And how do you make sure you buy in the right places? Well, get the new 2020 edition of Top 5 regional hotspots, which we published this week. I'm Terry Ryder, founder of hotspotting.com.au. Let's talk again soon.